Look at that. This is the most uninspiring and bad weather for our tree. Cold, rainy, melting snow. Yeah, almost impossible to shoot. But at the same time, I want to do archery. I want to practice something. I want to improve myself. And there's a cure. So let me show you what I do in this bad weather as an archer at home to improve my skills dramatically. So with that being said, let's dive right into this. As you can see, I wear my sweatpants. I'm really at home. I have my cozy, best possible hot uh, slippers. Also, I wear my running archery hat because my hair doesn't look good because it's morning and, you know, I was a little lazy to make my hair, so I just used my cup. If you will hear some funny noises on the background, it's our son and my wife. They are playing something. So, yeah, family day in this non-hostile weather. In this weather, I will focus on knocking. Knocking is a pretty important phase if you want to shoot fast. You know, this. To do all the procedure from the moment when you are starting to reaching your arrow, when you want to grab it, hold it and knock it as fast as possible. So the phase, as you saw it, is like this. I'm, I'm standing and what I want to do is take an arrow and knock. Yeah, that's it. That's everything. So I'll do this like 1000 times in various positions. This is very important. Basic position is standing, be ready for shooting, so like this, and that's it. That's everything. That's all the phase. And I can cut it down to smaller pieces. For example, like just only to grab the knock. Grab the knock so I know in which position it is. It's much easier to do with my special knocks because as you can see there are little cradles so I can hold the arrow like this and I exactly know in which position the arrow is and I can do my things much faster. But of course you can do this with any type of arrow, any type of a knock, it's just up to you. So the first phase can be just hold it, hold it, in which position it is. Rotate it so, so it's wrong, so hold it, I got it. I rotate it so it's absolutely against my fingers and I need to make the movement so I place it right. The second thing is to take the knock and do the procedure to take the arrow from your back quiver, side quiver, from your arrow hand, whatever, how, however you do it, just do your procedure, I do mine. So take it and pull it out, take it and pull it out, that's everything. This is always important because every single movement you have to do with your arrow can be a problem at the battlefield and at well, we, well, I do running archery, so it might be a problem like I'm running on a forest and I know that my problem is to grab the arrow properly. But it is not because I'm practicing, well, so like this. The other phase, the other step I can make is take the arrow and put it on a string. Just put it on a string, no drawing, just take it and put it on a string. Just take it and put it on a string. I did it a million times in my life and I will do it a trillion more times in my life. So I need to practice. I need to be absolutely sure that even I do not focus, I do it correctly. So that's it. And the last phase, as you saw at the beginning, is to do it all. So knock and draw. To knock and draw. And you can do this like 100 times, 500 times, million times. How long your fingers will last and how long you will enjoy this. But this is not everything. I have many, many more situations to learn knocking properly and quickly. Let me show you. Well, honestly, I am not the greatest movie and TV series fan. I'm not sitting in front of my computer or in front of our TV, which we don't have. So just in front of the computer and watching series, you know, all days. I don't. I have a business and I have family and this is much more important than watching series. So what I want to do is like watching the series and knock, knock. I'm focusing on the series, I'm focusing on what is happening here. And my friends, trust me, when you do this subconsciously for 40 minutes, you will be amazing at knocking. Deadly amazing. Let me be honest, don't do this when you are watching series with somebody else, because this sound still doing all around will make one crazy. So it's just for archers, nobody else. Yeah, good, good. Just don't break your relationships just because of this, don't. My another favorite method is knocking behind the back. So it looks like this. Like this. 
is the hardest one because you have no control everything is in so different shape in so different position so it's much slower much harder to do and at the same time if you are able to do it like this you will be able to knock in all situations right this behind the back knocking is super useful when you want to think about archery in a different way so you want to be sure that you are able to knock in every single situation every single position and this helps you so much so try it and of course there are many more situations when you want to try to knock for example like between your legs whoop i know it's super useless at the first sight but at the other hand is super useful when you need it so yes it's your exercise for your body so you're much more flexible and at the same time you know you knock in all situations like this i also be trying to knock behind my head like this it's pretty damn hard but yet possible look at that so try it for yourself like this uh, light uh, you will not have the light on the way so <laughs> it will be much easier for you than that but even this is possible so it expands your mind it opens your mind to see that there are many options many things you can do and you can be good at and even if again even if it looks absolutely useless and for nothing maybe there will be one situation that you will appreciate this so much i have one another video about archery at home where i practice more like speed shooting even with uh, falling of the arrow it looks like this like this and then you take another arrow and shoot so definitely check this one out because it will be super useful for you too and I hope you enjoy that and you definitely will try this because it's winter and it's the best time to try new things. Not everybody is fortunate to have a target at home. I think that only a few people are having the target at home and they can practice at home. So because it's dangerous, it's noisy and all the stuff. So I have a little kid, little son. I will not ever shoot my bow at home. Never. Outside absolutely safe environment nothing risky ever that's my condition this is how i work so only things i can practice are knocking and drawing but these things are super super important and you can do many many of these like for example you want to focus on the process of how your elbow is so you can do the knocking and like this and you can control how is my elbow is it in line with arrow does everything works perfectly okay then i can do this again without shooting just like this is it correct how i feel it how i feel where my hand is so when i shoot everything is automatic and it works smoothly easily and it's okay so you can focus on so many things and this is what i recommend you to do focus on as many things as possible of this pre-shooting phase and you can improve your archery skills so much even without releasing an arrow and that's what is practicing at home all about do everything at the pre-shooting phase right so when you shoot on a field you will be amazing self-esteemed and you do all the things right and fast as you wish let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite thing from this video or what you do when you want to practice archery at home and click right here because i believe you will love this video too until then hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i'm looking forward to meeting you next time and i would say keep on running but because of this weather i would say practice at home have a great time.